hey guys what's up so in this video we'll be seeing how to create multiple components for your website using multiple docker containers so here we have our server which is running an apache proxy and then we have three different components running inside three different docker containers so the thing is that the apache proxy is responsible for the pattern mapping respective patterns get redirected to the respective docker components or the containers so when the user is accessing the website using the example.com or whatever be the server URL, whenever he will be approaching the server, the request will be first received by the Apache proxy. Then proxy, what it does is looks at the URL pattern. If this part is there uh, within the URL, then this pattern is present. Then it is forwards the request to the respective containers. Okay, and these containers consist of an Apache server for the time being you can run anything inside that's one can contain a node.js server and another one can contain a apache server or another one can contain an apache tommy which supports java spring and all things so you it's up to you you can uh, define multiple components using multiple containers and different containers will be running in its own self-sufficient environment okay so, so this creates an isolation between what is used with inside the containers or the components of your website and the pattern mapping is done using an apache proxy so in in this what we are going to do today i will be having three components one is for the home page and another one is going to serve the news page and another one is going to serve the about page these three containers currently runs an apache server for the simplicity i am running three containers with apache servers and whenever a request comes to this uh, pattern then what it does is it fo gets forwarded to the 8080 of the host machine that is our server machine so in this this container is container has an apache listening to port 80 so we are mapping the port 8080 of the host machine to the port 80 of the container so that whenever a request comes to port 8080 it will be given to the home component docker container and similarly 8081 is forwarded to the uh, 80 of this container and 8082 is forwarded to the port 80 of the about container and now uh, according to this url pattern we will be routing it to uh, different ports with the help of apache proxy so that is what we are going to do today well, let's get into the implementation part i have a docker folder which consists of three directories one is the about directory which has an html page this is it so here we have an about page here similarly inside the home folder we have the index page that names it as a sample home page and similarly here we have the news page actually this page content doesn't matter all i wanted to show is that we have three different pages in the three different folders that i have created these three pages will be the index pages of the respective three components that i have shown in the figure one will be the index page of this apache and another one will be the index page of this apache and another one will be the index page of the apache running inside the about page container as well it can be any application it need not be an apache it can be a node.js thing application running inside or a spring boot application running inside for the sake of simplicity i'm considering apache server okay so now we can create the docker containers uh, for the respective components so how are we gonna do it so first of all just go to the corresponding folder that is a uh, desktop slash docker in my case so if i just do an ls as i have shown here we have these three folders inside it so i will just touch something called a docker file okay and i will edit it so in this case i am going to take the image from php columns 7.0 um, i'm using a php apache okay um, now then we are going to copy from the corresponding source directory to servers uh, or the containers var slash www slash html directory which is the directory for the apache for the apache html pages and we are going to open the port 80 and expose it to the outside world 
outside the containers that is why we are using this expose command okay so and then i'm just saving it so if i ha i am now having this docker file inside the docker folder actually i want three of those inside these three directories that is the about and home and news as well because we are going to create three containers so i'll be copying it inside each of these directories so uh, for copying it just type cp and the docker file to dot slash about then to the dot slash home and then to the news as well okay and just we can remove this docker file from here we don't want it so we have these three directories and we can just um list it out find dot and grep docker file see you can see there are three docker files present inside one is inside home and news and about let's get into building each of the docker i will start with the home so i'll navigate inside home if i list here i have the source file that is our html page and we have the docker docker file so we can create the docker sudo docker build and give it a name i will give home image and give it a build so it is asking me the password it is creating and it created the image so it may take some time for you because i have the uh, apache php image already downloaded so it it builds up faster for me it may take some time according to your network speed so again i will just have to go back to the about directory that is about and now i'll build that as well sudo docker build minus t and i will give it as about image i'm just tagging it with a name so that it is easier to use now i'll do the same with the news directory as well so cd news and sudo docker build minus t and i will give it a name news image so that's it so if you do a sudo docker image just you can see these three are already listed so now i can just go to the docker directory and i'll bring each of these containers up okay so what i'm gonna do is i'll just type in sudo docker run and we will give the port that is first for the first one we said 8080 will be mapped to the port 80 of the container and minus d for running it in background otherwise uh, we can't exit the terminal if we exit the terminal the container will stop so we just give, need to give it a minus d flag and then give it a name so for me i'm going to run the home container first i'll name it as home container and i need to build it from home image so it ran now i will just do the same for about container and i will give it an about from about image and i will use the port i do i did use 8082 for the about container so i'll just keep it as such so that we don't want a confusion later and then we will go for the news image and i'll name it as news container and i will give it as a port 8081 so whenever a request comes to the port 8081 it go, gets redirected to the port 80 of this container so uh, that is up as well now do sudo docker ps you can see there are three containers running so and uh, their time of creation is also listed here and their port mapping is also listed here so that's it so the basic part is done now all it's remaining is uh, to set up the proxy so now if i go to localhost and if i give it a access it using 8080 it takes me to the home page that means whenever a request reaches 8080 it gets forwarded to the 8080 it gets forwarded to the port 80 of this home container and now i will go to the port 81 which should give me the news image and now i will change this port to 82 which should give me the about page as well okay that's it now we have three 
Apache servers running inside three different containers which are mapped to three different ports. Now we will have an Apache proxy as shown in the image and which will be listening to the port 80 of the host machine and which will be redirecting to its corresponding container ports according to the URL pattern. Just to get started with Docker, you can use sudo apt install docker.io. It's already installed for me. So the next component to be configured is our Apache proxy. We have done the container part. Now we need to set up the Apache proxy and then we need to configure these patterns to redirect the respective ports of the respective containers. So let's get started with doing that. So first of all, you need to install Apache itself. So sudo apt get install Apache 2. So I have already installed that. I won't be installing it again. Then you need to enable certain modules in Apache. So for that, sudo apache, sorry, a2 en mod. That is actually to apache2 enable module. Okay, that is the thing. So now specify the module name. That is proxy http. In my case, it is already enabled. So it will be saying uh, it's already enabled. So just ignore that in your case it will be getting enabled so now the other one is apache uh, sorry proxy balancer so similar to that a to e n mode proxy balancer now i need to enable something called lb method by request so lb method by request So it is also enabled. Restart the Apache so that this module enabling the modules will take effect. You can just do uh, sudo service Apache to restart. So in my case, all these three are enabled and in your case, it will be getting enabled and you can just restart the Apache so that it will be taking effect. Now your Apache server the, has turned into a proxy server. Now we need to configure this part that is the url pattern matching part so for doing that you just need to first of all i'll clear the screen and navigate to the ct apache 2 sites uh, available instead of available so in this if you list down you can see uh, two files one is for the https version and one is for the http version in our tutorial i'm just going to focus on http so i'll go for the first one that is triple zero default.config. It will have some default values. We don't have to care about that. So sudo remove triple zero default. And I will create one that is a fresh one. Virtual host, which will be listening to all IP that is IP request coming to port 80. And I will close it as well. So now I need to type in a command proxy preserve host and turn it on once that is on you can do a proxy pass which is for mapping the pattern that is now we have the news so which will be mapped to http slash slash local host colon 80 81 i think 80 81 is the port that i have used for news container that's it so whenever a request reaches with this pattern, it will be forwarded to this container. So that is done. Now I'll have to do the proxy pass reverse also. That is for news. Just give us HTTP slash slash local host colon 8081 slash. Sorry, I missed the reverse keyword reverse as well. Similarly, I need to do it for the, I'll copy it. about and as well as the home. So I will just move over here. I will change it to about and change the port to 8082. And here also I'll make it 8082. And here also I will change it to about. The final one that is our home or the default. Okay, the order is important. Uh, for the first two, the order is not that important. You can do it anyway. Uh, the thing is that 
this will be the default one because in case any of these above mentioned patterns are not matching if it is not a slash news or a slash about if it is something else it should go to the uh, default or the home one so that is why it is given last if you are giving it first it will be always matching to this one because it appears to a part of the any given url so you should always give it at the last so default one sh should be given at last so that's it i'm changing the port and i hope everything is correct i need to close it and save it that's it now i need to enable the site that can be done by sudo a2 en site this time instead of module we are enabling the site and then give the configuration file name as apache supports virtual host you can host multiple websites with a single apache server and that is why we are enabling and disabling this site and option and creating for multiple configuration and is all given so time being we are not using that you can refer my another tutorial for how to do that uh, i'll be giving the link below so if i just enable it it's saying already enabled because i had already enabled it for the uh, testing purpose so i'll disable it and then enable it so you can uh, restart if you want either by using this command or just you can just use the earlier one that i used sudo service apache to restart for taking the effect so now if i go to the browser you can see this was the container anyway this will be working now i can just go and type localhost slash it will be giving me the home page and if i type in news slash it will be giving me the news page if i type about it, when without a slash it will go to the about page actually i have created three um, hyperlinks here which will be pointing to the slash about slash news and slash home as well uh, it's a part of the same website but these three pages are ran by three different apache servers which are running inside three different docker containers as in the image so if you want the home page to be a node.js application you're free to because it is not going going to affect this or this or this so you can use a spring boot application to bring up the news news container as well and you can use a php application for the about page as well it will work fine so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe thank you